Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Blair, and this is Momentum. In today's video, my new way of paying clients. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, again, my name is Blair. This is Momentum. All right, check it out. Um, before I get started, if you're new, please hit the like button, subscribe, and notification button so every time I put out a video, you'll know. The second thing I want to say before I get started is I want to thank all of my subscribers. All of you, my new and my old. I really appreciate all your comments, your questions, you know. I, I love it. I love you guys. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. In my Facebook group, what, two days ago, one of my peers put a screenshot of an idea he had with a client, and the client converted. Let me explain. His new way of paying his clients are through either Venmo, Zelle, or Cash App. And he was talking to me, uh, I think, was it last night, about how cool it was because it saves time on going to the banks. You know, now, I recommend you always have one to $300 cash for people like uh, uh, in the uh, geriatric community, you know, or um, population that they don't have time for that. You know, pay them cash. They're old school. And I get that. I respect it. Um, but for the people who can, why not? I'm going to tell you the second reason why I'm converting my clients to a cash shop, Venmo, and Zelle. People look at three things. What you say and what you do. And more importantly, the patterns. They look at your patterns more than anything. You know, don't think that when you get an established relationship or build a, a strong rapport with your clients and you start to go over their house, not go in their house, but go over their house. Okay, now, that's a case-by-case -case basis. It's a case-by-case -case basis, all right? You know, people are looking. You come over there once a month, or once every two months, or once every three months. People are watching you. You know, you, you, you just never know. It's just a way to protect yourself. Now, I've said this in another video. If you have people who just want cash, always have the exact amount of cash on you. Never get to a client's place or meet a client and be fumbling through your wallet. You know, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Now, this is why I tell people to make sure your clients send you pictures. You know, because you may have some dings in there. Some may be damaged. You get over there and, you know, now you got to pay them less or take the loss. Those are your options. All right, now getting back to what I was saying, I think that it's a safer method, but again, you have to trust your clients. I can't stress this enough. I can't stress it enough. You know, I have a pickup on what Tuesday What's the day Friday. Yeah. On Tuesday, I'm like this with this lady. I'm going to ask her, would she like to convert? I'm sure she would. I'm sure she would. If she has it hooked up in her phone, you know, she might not. But I'm definitely going to ask her about it. But, you know, um, so those are mainly the main two reasons. You know, it's a convenience. Because going, I mean, I get tired of going back and forth to the bank. You know, uh, and it helps on time. You know, I give her... Uh, the money, 
on Cash App or Venmo or Zelle, then the next day I pick everything up. And I'm not worried about nobody trying to rob me. <laughs> you know, that's just me though. I mean, this is just a suggestion. You don't have to do this. You know, you do, if you get into this business, yeah, if you get into this, uh, the flipping medical commodities business, it's up to you. All right, so um, I'm not going to make this too long. All right, so anyway, my name is Blair. This is Momentum. I want to thank everybody for watching. And remember, you can't gain momentum without traction, all right? You can't get tomorrow back. If you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working towards it. And on that note, into the next video, peace out.